Hi, this is Brian Murray from Hoboken Home Finder, and today I'm coming to you from my tub. No ordinary tub, it's a jacuzzi tub. Uh, not really here to talk about the jacuzzi tub today, but uh, needless to say, if you're thinking about paying a little bit extra for one, don't. They're a bitch to clean uh, and to keep clean. I would recommend that you save the extra money that you're going to put into the jacuzzi tub and just go to a hotel whenever you want to take a jacuzzi and then you can get out leave leave it for the maid to clean even if you have a cleaning service they're never going to get those jets clean but i digress the reason i'm here talking to you from my tub today is because i'm talking to you about uh, really those apartments that uh, have been really hammered by a lot of the rain that we've had the hurricane that we've had i'm wearing a rain jacket just to prove a point that um, if you've seen some of those garden level apartments that now have workmen in them, you, you see half of their floors out on the street, you see the cabinets on the street. It's a lot like those homes in Malibu. They build them on the cliffs, on these basically sand cliffs, and every time it rains, the houses get uh, mud slid right into the ocean, and it's amazing. Year after year, they rebuild them. It's the exact same place, rains come again, house to slide into the ocean again. You think they would learn. So it's a very expensive home. I'm sure that some of the people that live there have a half a brain, but apparently they don't. Uh, same kind of thing with uh, a garden apartment. Really, the only way to ensure that your garden level apartment is going to be dry is to have a tub around it. I've seen apartments where the waters come from the sides of the walls from next door in. There's no way that no matter what kind of drain you have, if the water is seeping through the side of the wall, that you're going to get that water out. I've seen apartments where you look in their backyard and the backyard is a pond. Now, as soon as it rains, that pond is just going to wash its way right into your place. Not that it's a bad thing, but if you don't prepare, it is a bad thing. I really recommend that if you're going to look at a garden apartment, uh, that it's one that has tile on the floor, that has uh, tile part of the way up the wall, that they talk about a surround, uh, a tub surround system that they build so that uh, it's pretty much watertight inside. Because if it's not watertight, then uh, you know what's going to end up happening is exactly what you see. You're going to have half of your stuff out on the street, um, and it's going to happen over and over again. Hey, it rains all the time. And these 100-year rains and 100-year storms, they seem to happen, oh, about every 5 to 10 years. So if you're going to own your place for, oh, 5 to 10 years, you should expect that at least one time, you're going to have to throw all your stuff out and start over, unless you're prepared up front. This is Brian Murray with HobokenHomeFinder.com, uh, letting you know a little bit about uh, how to keep yourself dry if you're going to live in the basement, and uh, also how to keep yourself um, uh, out of the problems of having a jacuzzi tub. Take care.